In this video lesson, I'll take a look at creating RAID 5 logical volumes here in LVM. Now, I've already created in previous lessons RAID 0, which is our striped option, and RAID 1, which is our mirrored option. So in this one, we're going to use RAID 5, and the command is going to be very similar for RAID 5, 6, or 10, if you wanted to use those RAID types. I'll start off by running sudo lvs just to see what I have left over from previous lesson and I have a volume group named volume one or volume group named my data VG with a logical volume of volume one LV let's just remove those pseudo LV remove my data VG and we'll remove volume one LV before I create my raid array what I want to show you is there is a man page for the LV create command and if I hit enter you should be able to look at a lot of different options that I can use to fine tune the way my RAID is set up, or even my just plain logical volume is set up. So I would encourage you to look at all of the different options. I'm going to take a look at the dash capital I option this time. We've already used the little i, which is our stripes, but I want to change and modify the default stripe size, which is 64 kilobytes here on Ubuntu. And again, there are a lot of options to work with. You can press Q to quit out of the man page. And let's create our RAID array. So sudo lv create. And I've already done um, the basic setup before multiple times. So the little l is my option to use a variable, like 100% free of all of my extents. I can go ahead and use the dash n for the name of my logical volume. So dash n volume one lv. And now here I can use a different option. So I'll use dash dash type. And then I can define what RAID level that I want. So I can say RAID 5. And again, I could do RAID 6. Now RAID 6 is going to require five drives here in LVM. And I only have four to work with. So I'll use RAID 5. And I could also do RAID 10 if I needed to or wanted to. So RAID 5. I can do dash capital I. That would be my stripe size. And again, 64K is the default. And I can use 128 if I want a little bit larger of a stripe size or I could use 32 if I want it smaller. So this is just fine tuning the way my RAID array works. I can choose how many drives I want to use as well. So I can use three drives for RAID 5, which is going to be two stripes and then also a parity. Or I could just have multiple drives in here and say I want three stripes and a parity. And I can add as many drives as I want for my RAID 5. We're just going to do the typical setup here which is just going to go ahead and I'll just say my, my data VG, which is the name of my volume group, and then dev, and let's put in our drives. I'm going to use dev SD B, C, and D. So I'll just say B through D in those square brackets there. I'll go ahead and hit enter, and it should go through the process of creating this logical volume. Now that I have it, there are a couple commands I can use to see more details about it. I could run sudo LV display dash M, and I can look here down at the bottom, I see that it is RAID 5, and that I have really three different images that I'm going to be working with, our RAID image or our image 0, 1, and 2. And each one of those images has a metadata section available with it that keeps track of what's happening in RAID. I can also run lsblk, which is a nice command to see where each of these images are located on which physical drive. So I can see SDB contains image and metadata 0, SDC is image and metadata 1, and so forth as we go down through this. Now another command that we typically use is sudo lvs. And if I run sudo lvs by itself, all I see is that my logical volume size is just under 2 gigabytes. Each one of those drives was a gig, so whenever I run RAID 5, I actually lose one of those um, on the calculations for volume size. I lose one of those volume sizes for parity. I can also run the LVS command and look at more options. So LVS can, there's more options that I, than what is available here. So I'm only seeing just a, a few of these fields. So if I wanted to look at more options, I could run sudo LVS. I could do the dash O, which are my options, and I can add additional options on there. If you don't know what options are available, you can always say plus, and then we could say like LV underscore all, that would show me all of the options. Now that looks horrible because there are so many options and there's so much wrapping going on in my terminal that it just does not look good. If I hit the up arrow, I can tell it to put it in rows instead. So dash dash rows, I'll add that to the command. 
And in that case, it took all of that, instead of putting it in columns, put everything in rows. And here's a list of all of these options that we've got. And I can look for the space to figure out what is the actual value of that option. And come down, so one additional one that I wanted to point out that we did not see originally was layout. And if I look at my LVS command up here, there we go. We had L size, pool, origin, data, meta, move, log, copy, sync, convert. We did not have layout. So there's layout. If you want to add in your LVS command one of these options, it's actually really easy. I'll go ahead and move that back. And rather than saying all options, I can say dash O, which is my options, plus, and this will add to it whatever option it is you wanted to see, like layout. And I could create a comma separated list here of additional options. But there's plus layout, and I can see now layout is here. And I can see some of the more details about my rate array or options that I have with my logical volume. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at what would happen if I wanted to replace one of the drives here on my RAID array. So if I run lsblk, I have b, c, and d. If I run sudo pvs, I can see that in my volume group, I also have one additional drive. And let's say that I wanted to replace drive sdb. There are two commands that I can use. I can use pv move and tell it to move one drive to the other. But there's also a logical volume command called LV convert that I can use to move one drive to another. So LV convert, and I better put sudo in front of this because I need that. LV convert, we'll say dash dash replace. And then I can list the drive that I want to replace, dev sdb. Let's just assume that's the drive that maybe is failing or it's getting old and I want to replace it. I now tell it what my data or my volume group is what the logical volume is. There we go. So volume group slash logical volume. And then I have the option of telling you which drive I want to replace it with. So that would be slash dev SD E as an echo. If I hit enter, it's going through the process now. And it really happens fast here on mine because I don't have any data on these drives. But it goes through the process of replacing dev SDB with SDE on my setup. So if I run sudo let's just do lsblk. I now see sdb at one time had all of the meta and image data for zero, the RAID, RAID image zero, but it's all been moved now to sde. So sdb is now free to possibly re be removed from my volume group, which is actually kind of easy. It's just sudo vg reduce. And I'll just identify the volume group and say that I want to reduce dev sdb. And now SDB is no longer part of my volume group. So if I run sudo pvs, you'll see that SDB is no longer part of this volume group. And I could remove it from my server at that time, replace it, and then just simply come back and say sudo vg extend my data vg, that's the name of my volume group, and tell it to put in dev SDB. And if I run sudo pvs now, SDB is now part of my volume group. So I could go through the process of moving around my data in the array to remove drives. So that completes creating RAID 5 logical volumes here in LVM. And again, we could create RAID 6 or 1.0 with more drives, and also taking a look at replacing drives within one of these RAID arrays.